the backstage area led to Lupino's inner sanctum. The hot air inside was like an invisible wall, thick with incense and something else. A sickly sweet smell that made you gag. This was the rotten core of the Big Apple. Lupino lurked somewhere ahead, like a spider at the center of his web, waiting. The vapors in the air started to make my head swim. Torn pieces of a letter lay scattered on the sofa. Punchinello had threatened Lupino in writing. The note had been torn to pieces, bloody fingerprints all over them. Don't want you to think that one of my boys is not playing with a full deck. Shape up, Jack. We are running a business here. I'd hate to send the trio to strong arm you. The trio were the Don's notorious henchmen. It was obvious that Lupino hadn't been intimidated by the threat. The flesh of fallen angels! Come to me all! Astaroth, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Baphomet, Lucifer, Loki, Satan, Jadulu, Lilith, Ella! Blood to you all! Secret. Living under the skin of reality. I've seen it. The corruption of flesh! Known there'd have to be a catch in it somewhere, and this one was the Empire State Building of catches. Lavino was pumped up and dying to go 15 rounds with a mutant alligator, and then he started this spooky monkey talk straight from a bad dream. Mine. I have tasted the flesh of fallen angels. I've tasted the devil's green blood. It runs in my veins. I've seen beyond a world of skin. The architecture of blood and bow and arrow! Death is coming! She is coming, and hell follows with her. This is the twilight winter. I am ready to be her son! <laughs> her time is now, and all who stand in her way must die! <laughs> <laughs> You'll die! You'll <laughs> die! Now! All die! Ow! Finally went down. I wanted to make real sure he'd stay that way. 
he was a bad monster. Turned them into friggin' zombie demons from outer space. I think he's dead already. Huh? And that's when it happened. But dead or not, you've got the wrong guy. In stepped this knockout femme fatale holding a gun to my face. I returned the favor. Lisa Punchinello. Lisa Punchinello was the Don's wife. Mona Sachs. Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Lisa's the damsel in distress. I'm the professional. I'd blow you away without batting an eye. Sure, and you can check out my credentials splattered all over this joint. Jack couldn't have framed you. Not the state he was in. We're after the same slime bag. Angelo Punchinello's the one who murdered your friend and framed you with it. You know this for a fact. I've got my sources. I don't have a clue these days. I just shoot them as they come. Who put a contract on the Archfiend? This one's mine. I hate the guts of that sadistic wife-beater. Why not pool our bullets for this one? I thought you'd never ask. My finger was starting to twitch. How do you like your whiskey? I'm easy. As long as you don't try to slip me a Mickey. You're a real angel, Max. It was good stuff. Tasted sweet as honey going down. Nothing personal. Can't risk you going berserk and getting Lisa killed. <laughs> The nightmare was always the same. Violent shapes moving in darkness, old and ugly. The killer's mad laughter was a riddle filled with wicked innuendo. Somewhere, the baby was crying. Tanya snoring next to Lupino's corpse. A comedian, eh? The pictures were filled with good old times. I really love to watch cartoons. Captain Baseball Bat Boy is my favorite.
dice them, shoot them full of holes, blow them to bits, vaporize them, disintegrate them. No matter what you do, they'll still be back, good as new. Michelle's diary lay on the table. Michelle was working part-time in the district attorney's office. Her diary was open on today's entry, her handwriting all pretty curves. An army dossier found its way to my desk yesterday. Valhalla? Isn't that a Norse myth? Something about Vikings? I tried to tell Max about it, but he was busy, that cute frown on his brow. Guess it's nothing, just a mix-up at the courier service. From now on, I would always find time for her. It was a hollow promise. Too little, too late. Real world. <laughs>